Hey, gamers and Halloween fans, ready to power up your pumpkin carving this year? Let's ditch the usual spooky faces and summon some epic video game monsters instead. Ever wondered how to bring your favorite gaming monsters to life in pumpkin form? Get ready to unleash your inner artist and create some seriously cool jack-o'-lanterns. Before we start carving, let's gather our monster-making arsenal. This is the first and most crucial step in our pumpkin carving adventure. Just like a hero needs their gear, we need the right tools to conquer this quest. Think of these tools as your trusty sidekicks, ready to help you create a masterpiece. What basic tools do you need for pumpkin carving? Let's break it down so you can be fully prepared. Don't worry, you won't need a magic sword. Although it might be fun to pretend, all you need are some simple everyday items. First up, a sharp carving knife. This is your trusty weapon against the pumpkin's tough exterior. Make sure it's sharp enough to cut through the thick skin, but handle it with care. This knife will help you create precise cuts and intricate designs. It's the key to bringing your spooky or silly pumpkin face to life. Next, a pumpkin scooper. Perfect for scooping out the pumpkin guts. Ew! This tool makes the messy job of cleaning out the pumpkin's insides much easier. Pencils or markers are your sketching tools. Use them to draw your design on the pumpkin before you start carving. This way, you can get creative and plan out your masterpiece. Newspaper or a trash bag is essential to keep your workspace clean from pumpkin guts. Spread them out on your table to catch all the mess. After you're done carving, you can easily wrap up the mess and throw it away. This makes clean up a breeze and keeps your space tidy. Once you have your tools ready, it's time to choose your pumpkin. This is an important step because the right pumpkin can make all the difference. Pick a pumpkin that's smooth and sturdy with no bruises or soft spots. A good pumpkin will have a firm skin and a nice shape for carving. Now that you're all prepped, share what cool and unique tools you use for carving. There are so many innovative tools out there that can help you create amazing designs. Let's get those creative juices flowing. Gather your friends and family and let's start carving some incredible pumpkins together. Happy carving! Now for the fun part, picking your monster. Halloween is the perfect time to let your creativity shine and bring your favorite video game characters to life in spooky fun ways. Will it be a creepy creeper from Minecraft with its iconic green pixelated look and explosive personality? Or perhaps a menacing Goomba from Mario, those little mushroom baddies that have been a staple of the series for decades. The choice is yours, and the possibilities are endless. Which monster will you choose to spook up your Halloween? Whether you're a fan of classic games or the latest hits, there's a monster out there for everyone. Here are some popular choices and their unique features to get you started. Each one brings its own flair and personality to your Halloween decorations. Minecraft Creeper this iconic green monster is instantly recognizable. Its pixelated features and menacing grin make it a standout choice for any Halloween display. Focus on those pixelated features and that menacing grin. You can even add some glow-in-the-dark paint to make it extra spooky at night. Super Mario Goomba These little mushroom baddies are a classic. Their simple yet grumpy expressions are perfect for a fun and nostalgic Halloween decoration. Capture their grumpy expressions and simple shapes. You can even create a whole army of Goombas to line your walkway or porch. Pac-Man Ghost Remember these colourful ghosts? Each one has its own personality and colour, making them a fun and vibrant addition to your Halloween decor. Use different pumpkin carving techniques 
to create their distinct shapes and eyes. You can even carve all four ghosts and Pac-Man himself for a complete scene. Among Us Crewmate Is it a crewmate or an imposter? The mystery adds an extra layer of fun to your Halloween decorations. The simple design of these characters makes them perfect for beginners. You can easily carve out their shapes and add some paint for extra detail. Don't be afraid to think outside the pumpkin box. Get creative with your designs and add your own personal touch to make your decorations truly unique. Choose a monster that speaks to your gaming soul. Whether it's a classic character or a new favorite, make it your own and have fun with it. Share your monster selection in the comments. I can't wait to see what you choose. And don't forget to share your creations on social media to inspire others and spread the Halloween spirit. Carving Creatures of the Night Techniques for Terrifying Features Halloween is the perfect time to let your creativity run wild and bring to life the most terrifying creatures you can imagine. Whether you're a seasoned pumpkin carver or a complete beginner, these techniques will help you create a masterpiece that will impress all your friends and family. Ready to bring your monster to life? With the right tools and a bit of patience, you can transform an ordinary pumpkin into a spooky work of art. Let's dive into the steps that will guide you through the process of creating a truly terrifying jack-o'-lantern. This is where the real magic happens. Having a well-organized workspace is key to a successful carving experience. Lay out all your tools and make sure you have everything you need before you start. This will save you time and make the process much smoother. How do you carve intricate details on your jack-o'-lantern? The secret lies in the preparation and the tools you use. Let's break it down step by step so you can achieve those fine details that make your pumpkin stand out. Follow these steps for carving success. One, sketch it out. Start by visualizing your design and sketching it on paper if needed. This will give you a clear idea of what you want to achieve and help you plan your carving. Use your pencil or marker to draw your monster's face on the pumpkin. This step is crucial as it serves as your guide throughout the carving process. Take your time and make sure your lines are clear and easy to follow. Don't worry if it's not perfect, this is just a guide. Two, cut the lid. Cutting the lid is the first real step in transforming your pumpkin. Make sure to cut at an angle so the lid doesn't fall inside the pumpkin. Carefully cut a circle around the stem of the pumpkin. This will be your access point for scooping out the insides and for placing a candle or light inside later. This is where you'll scoop out the guts later. 3. Scoop it out. Removing the seeds and pulp is an essential step to ensure your pumpkin is clean and ready for carving. Use your trusty pumpkin scooper to remove all the seeds and goop. This can be a messy job, but it's important to get the inside as clean as possible to make carving easier. Make sure the inside is nice and clean for carving. Four, carve carefully. Now comes the fun part, bringing your design to life. Using your sharp knife, carefully carve along the lines you drew. Take your time and be patient, especially when working on intricate details. Start with the larger features and then move on to the details. This approach will help you maintain the integrity of your design and make the carving process more manageable. Once you're done carving, use your scooper or your fingers to smooth out any rough edges. This will give your pumpkin a polished look and make it stand out even more. Remember, safety first. Always carve away from yourself 
and be extra careful when handling sharp tools. Safety gloves can be a great addition to your carving kit to prevent any accidents. Now it's your turn. Try out these techniques and share your progress in the comments. We'd love to see your creations and hear about your carving experiences. Don't be afraid to get creative and experiment. The best part of pumpkin carving is making it your own. Try different designs, use various tools, and most importantly, have fun with it. Happy carving! Let there be spooky light illuminating your creation your monster is carved and ready to shine but what's the best way to light up your spooky creation here are some tips and tricks traditional tea lights for a classic flickering glow place a tea light candle inside your pumpkin led candles these are safer and longer lasting than traditional candles Plus, they come in fun colours. String lights. For a softer, more whimsical look, try placing string lights inside your pumpkin. Once you've chosen your lighting, place your masterpiece on your porch or doorstep for all to admire. Don't forget to snap some photos of your lit up pumpkin and share them in the comments. I can't wait to see your spooky creations come to life.